Court is now back in session. Uh, how is everybody's nappies? <laughs> Witness, please testify to the court about everything that you saw on the night of December 24th. Right. Leave it to me. Please, Larry, don't fuck this up for me. I hate to admit it, but you're our last chance. You're our last chance, Obi-Wan Larry. John Karma didn't even have time to prep his witness. I just hope Edgeworth is right about this being our big break. This is our big break. <laughs> uh, I'd love to see Von Karma just be like, uh... Witness do a talkie? I, I, I don't know what happens when I don't prep them. <laughs> how, how does this work? He just starts snapping and then nothing Wh happens. Witness say words. <laughs> Witness go burr. <laughs> Error. <laughs> Error. <laughs> that night, I was out in a boat on the lake. I was looking for something. And I, uh, I found it. I was looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> so I quietly slipped the boat rental in the boat back in at the rental shop dock. So one might say I docked. God then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. I looked out over the lake, but I didn't notice the boat. Actually, is this a new Larry Sprite? Have we ever seen this one before? It looks new. I can't remember if it, it, he doesn't normally, he doesn't do it a lot. Yeah. Or if he has done it, he hasn't done it a lot. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. Larry, did you in fact say I killed him? <laughs> hmm. That was an unusually vague <laughs> testimony <laughs> for this court. Wow. Hey, at least the judge is in on the grift. Judge is like, yo, Larry, could you maybe elaborate just a little bit? Because it kind of seems like you're hiding a bunch that Von Karma listen, didn't want I'd... you to say. Listen, I know this courtroom's a joke, but could you at least take it a little more seriously, man? <laughs> in any matter, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. What's wrong, Nick? It's Larry. I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. Hmm. Well, we've come this far. There's no way to go but forward, Nick. Just keep digging, just keep digging, Nick. Just keep digging. <laughs> uh, I mean, this probably has nothing, right? We can skip this line. Uh, yeah. Press this one just because I like to watch Larry squirm. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for something? Looking for something? <laughs> what is, uh, you ought to be careful. People will think you're up to something. People will think you're up to something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I was so enamored by your, uh, Server is Snape there. It just, just uh, completely blanked. I mean, it's the best line that Alan Rickman does in the whole mm. Harry Potter films. <laughs> Mr. Butt, what were you looking for? All right, fine. Love in all the wrong places. <laughs> what the witness was searching for is irrelevant. Most likely he was hunting for this Gordy. Really quick, can, can a attorney object to a judge questioning something or a judge saying something well again the judge isn't supposed to be you know what that's a good point <laughs> yeah the, the, the judge would again the judge wouldn't be making this comment right now good point so, the judge so. set himself up for that one <laughs> also even if you could the judge is probably just going to overrule your objection <laughs> but no you can't good really point. object to what the judge yeah, says the judge is not going to be like Oh, you're right. My bad. My bad. You're right. I, I did. I messed up. <laughs> you're right. Keep me I humble. Did, keep me humble. Keep I me humble. did. I did overstep my bounds. Thank you for keeping me in check. <laughs> that's 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 on me. I'm gonna work on it, and I'll be better next time. You know, it wouldn't surprise me one. You know, you know, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if that was the truth. This is all irrelevant. Let's get it over with. 
also, really quick, we gotta check the Discord again because uh, that kind of artist has dropped. Oh my god! <laughs> I think this is now in my sketch. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so cursed. It it makes me think of that one SCP. <laughs> oh. Pantrad is also working on one. Oh my oh, god. No. Us? Uh -huh. Oh no. Oh no. It's so it's it's so clearly <laughs> just for Monkey Maya. <laughs> it's so good. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I'm like I'm crying. That's so funny. <laughs> he is crying. Oh my god. <laughs> it encapsulates both characters so perfect. That it it's it's looking at me. Oh, yeah. it's, buried, it's buried right into your yeah. soul. You could, you oh, could, you could, you could turn the page in your sketchbook, and it would still be looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Narwax says that's the new emote, and you're right, it fucking is. That's yeah, gonna be it the... has to be. It has to be. <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit, man. Uh, <laughs> Also, really quick, St. Halucha gifted a sub to that kind of artist for their immaculate gift that they have now given to us. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With your permission Ooh. as well, uh, that kind of artist, I probably will make that an emote for next week. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, my God. And here we go. Cronite's popping off. We just got five more subs. What I, I I think again, Hell more yeah, people are everybody. now sub to our channel than are watching, and we have a record fifty-eight people watching right now. We actually had sixty. What's up, earlier. everybody? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love this community we've managed to build. It's so good, man. I love all you guys. Oh God. <laughs> Around what time was that? Uh. Well, let's see. I figure I was out searching for about an hour. I guess it was around 12. Yeah. You're not sure? Hey! Don't give me that face! <laughs> I'm not some sort of human sundial, okay? <laughs> People use watches these days, Larry. <laughs> Stupid joke. Mm. Uh, okay, let's ask about the bang. I like that both of you drank at exactly the same time there. That was that was impressive. <clears throat> Choreographed. Choreo. <laughs> our, cho our choreo is improving. Calculated. Where did the sound come from? Yeah, well, <laughs> I wasn't too sure about that. I looked around, you know. Did you look at the lake? <laughs> yeah, I looked. Oh. Literally, I looked out over the lake. Wasn't there a boat on the lake? Order. Order. Yeah, listen, get the gallery can calm down. I feel like that wasn't that amazing of a moment. Well, Mr. Butts... Whoa, whoa. Everybody just calm down, okay? I mean, it was real foggy that night. I'm not sure whether there was a boat out there or not. Oh, okay. No problem. That's just the most important part of this case. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we're playing a video game. We're playing a video game. So, you only heard one bang, correct? Yeah. Huh. Well, Nick? Hmm. It was a pretty wishy-washy testimony, wasn't it? I guess I should just start working on the contradictions. Sorry. I wish I could be more helpful. I wish I could call my sister. 
Uh, I think the last one is a contradiction, technically. Yeah, because we have the... The gun yeah, says the gun says, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, fired three times. Mm -hmm. Which is Which, weird, because you know, no one's It's been a contradiction the... the whole time. Yeah, no one's accounted for the third shot yet, which I'm really curious oh, about. And that's also, wrong. This isn't Apparently. it. What the fuck? <laughs> We're gonna... Uh, it contradicts the uh, thought. You don't sound very convinced, Mr. Wright. Objection overruled. Her, maybe oh, it's her. there you go. Okay, yeah. It's her deposition. Hey, game. So we, we got it. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that was it. God damn it. Oh, wait a sec, Larry. What? You only heard one bang. You're sure? That's what I said. But Miss Lotta Hart testified yesterday that she heard two bangs. And the old man yeah, just well, now... Yeah, he's an idiot. Oh, well, I'll give you that one. But the old man just now said the same thing. And he's drunk. You know what? You're right. Abstain. You know what? You're all idiots. <laughs> they both heard two gunshots that night, even though, as I just pointed out, the gun was fired three times. Why is no one worried about that? Maybe Larry heard the third gunshot. Oh. oh. If we huh? combine the testimonies, we get the three gunshots. <laughs> we Voltron these testimonies. Voltron the testimonies. Were you even listening? If Were I you... play polymerization on the two testimonies, <laughs> I get three bullets. Torch of revealing light. <laughs> Were you paying attention at all to what they said? Yo, Nick, please. Huh? You know, Something's been bothering me. I'm a witness, see? I'm like a customer here. That's no, not. You're not. <laughs> so you gotta treat me nice and stuff, okay? No, no one's treating you mean, Larry. We're, we're just asking if we're, we're just pointing out things. <laughs> <sighs> now come over here and give me a foot rub. <laughs> Mr. Butts, I'm actually quite good at foot rubs. I'll do it. No! <laughs> What? You only heard one gunshot? Are you sure? Um... Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure. You're, you're the best, Larry. Huh? Not sure? How could you not be sure? Yeah, well... I, uh... I might have missed the other gunshot. But this one won't miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh listening to something else. What, what, what do you got in those earbuds? Come on, tell me your playlist, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> something else. Larry, share your Spotify mix with the court. <laughs> oh. My radio, dude. On my headphones. <laughs> I've been really big into ABBA lately. <laughs> order order and stop that booing <laughs> <laughs> mr butts you were listening to a radio on earphones <laughs> like i know he's asking for like a legitimacy how is like, that possible yeah, it almost feels like <laughs> you can listen to radio on earphones i mean yeah, so what? That a crime? Also, this yes, takes place it in, is. in 2016. You, Nobody fucking listens to the radio on earphones anymore. You violated the no radio with earphones law. As we all Back know, video killed the radio star. <laughs> I listen to my radio. Everybody listens to the radio. What's the big deal? I'm actually really big into podcasts. <laughs> you know what my favorite You've podcast is? <laughs> What's that? Save data team. Hey, okay. there we go, folks. Check us out on any any uh, podcast app. We've got both around the monitor and save data cast. Uh, please give us a five star review. That would really help us out a lot. Thank you all. <laughs> I also listen to Stranger Than Fan Fiction. Oh yeah, which has Wes in it. That's another great podcast that I listen to. It's true, <laughs> man. Everybody should check out all the podcasts and make sure to leave a review on any of your podcast platforms. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hmm. Mr. Von Karma, your opinion? <laughs> Holly just says Larry listens to Joe Rogan. That's fucking funny. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Waste of time. I do not accept this witness nor his shoddy testimony. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, should he continue the testimony? Continue. 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 <laughs> I don't, I'll never give up. Your Honor, please, please allow his allow the witness to continue his testimony. Bah. Humbug. It's Nothing Christmas. is more pitiful than a lawyer who doesn't know when he's lost. Yeah, Von Karma, it sure is. Very well, Mr. Butt. Please give your testimony. And be sure to include details like your radio. <laughs> right, leave it to me. I wouldn't if there were any other way out of this, believe me. It's lonely being alone on Christmas Eve. Oh, fucking same, Larry. Jeez. That's why I was listening to an all requests show on the radio. See? I was listening to a real boom and loud like. But I'm sure I heard that gunshot. I remember exactly what the DJ was saying when I heard it, too. You were listening to your radio at a high volume? Yeah, what's the big problem? Can't a man listen to his radio in peace? Isn't this a free country? I truly believe Larry has no idea what the problem here is. Judge, can you believe a word this witness says? What he heard was probably nothing more than a drum beat from the radio. Can you believe anything your fucking witnesses said? Yo, this art is so good. Okay, he I, heard I, that. He heard that sick beat drum. I was, I was trying to get through just to to, to find a good stopping point. Oh my god! Clumsily, god. Jojo. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, this is so good! Oh my god! The the line detail is I love incredible. That first, love that first one. <laughs> did, did you get it? Oh photo? my god! Oh, it's so fantastic. I can't wait to witness my next murder. <laughs> well, what if you, you don't, don't have, have to? to? It's so good. Jojo, thank you so much. Oh, my God. My cheeks hurt because I'm smiling so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I, I wish I could retroactively add these into last week's episode. <laughs> Oh no! Also, yes, Pantran, Pantran. dropped no. the, the other Mr. Monk and Maya. <laughs> so good. Oh. oh, my cheeks! So damn good. Oh, my cheeks are so sore. Oh, oh my, oh my cheeks. <laughs> oh my Monk. True enough. It is difficult to believe this testimony. Objection. Wait, Your Honor. The witness said he remembers exactly what the DJ said when he heard the gunshot. Excuse me? DJ? You gotta be fucking me on this one, Judge. An announcer. The guy who says the things on the radio? Anyway... You keep talking about this radio. <laughs> what this means is, when he heard the sound, no music was playing. The DJ only talks between songs. So he could have heard the gunshot from the lake. I'd like to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. That's what you've been doing. Very well, Mr. Wright. Also, no need to where get the so hell is this about going? I can't believe I'm continuing this charade. Man, you and me both, Phoenix. I have no idea where this is going. <laughs> when do we get to point out the fact that there were three bullets missing from the gun, and we've never gotten to bring this up yet? Day three, I'd guess. <laughs> I guess, because this isn't getting us anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I almost want to press Larry about being alone on Christmas just to be a jerk. 
<laughs> Do it. So, you turned on the... Oh, you turned... So you were all alone on Christmas? You turned on so the radio? So you were turned on by the radio? <laughs> right. I just wanted to hear someone's voice, you know? You don't know what it's like out there alone on Christmas Eve? Alone? <laughs> I put alone twice. I shouldn't have said anything. Do you by any chance remember the name of the program you were listening to? That's not relevant, yes. Phoenix. It was Delilah. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the case, Your Honor. For one, for once, sustained. I agree, Von Karma. The witness was listening to the radio. That is all we need to know. Tell us, Mr. Butts, how loud was your radio set to that night? I, I mean, this is real, important. Real booming loud. <laughs> uh, I assume we probably just want to go to this. Yeah, that's that's the most relevant thing. What did he say? Mr. Wright, please cease these pointless questions. What possible good could knowing what a radio DJ said do us? Indeed, Mr. Von Karma has a point. I'll allow the question only if you see some reason why we should care. No, we don't care. We should care. We should care, Your Honor. Of course we should. Why? Uh, well, how do you know if we don't ask, huh? <laughs> Fine, very well. Mr. Butts, please testify to the court. What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? Just when she said, hey, it's almost Christmas, I heard the gunshot. All right, Let's... now we're going to have some information about timing. Yeah, yeah. what? Yeah. I think it's Lada's... Lada's deposition again. Just after midnight. Just yeah. after midnight? Mm -hmm. I think Larry heard... I think Larry did hear the third gunshot we don't know about. Ooh. The third gunshot on the grassy knoll. <laughs> I think he... I... Well, I think he heard the first gunshot, then afterwards, mm. Lada and the old man heard two and three after midnight. Uh, Damn it, it was Gordy after all. Really quick, uh, somebody, Visa, Larry is kind of sad. The best relationship he ever got was the one with, <laughs> was the one with Cinderblock. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. And Shadow Navi says, sometimes I wish Larry had a relationship with a Cinderblock. <laughs> <laughs> it would work, because... They'd fit well together. He is a cinder block. He is about as smart as one. Nice. Larry, are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? Huh? What's with the face? You look scary, dude. Hey, if you're trying to scare me, you better know I don't scare that easy. <laughs> I fucking hate Larry so much. You're, you're I don't scare that right easy. Now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Is something the matter, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, did you hear what the witness just said? He said he doesn't scare easy. <laughs> but look at him, he's crying like a little baby. The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas when he heard the gunshot. Indeed. And... Uh... Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. <laughs> Do you realize what this means? <laughs> Phoenix, you're I really want that so poorly. I really want that to be a someone to screenshot. Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Yeah, the and chat. then put some put some deal with it on it. We'll 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 get we'll get, uh, we'll get t-shirts that say almost Christmas is not Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> when he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve. That would seem to be the case, yes. But that contradicts the two testimonies we have heard so far, Your Honor. Both Miss Hart and the old man said it was after midnight when said it was after midnight when they heard the shots. In other words, when they heard the gunshots, it was already Christmas.
This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor. <laughs> Order! Order! Tyrannus Umbra says, If it wasn't Christmas, you must acquit. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this witness says he heard a gunshot before midnight. And everyone knows Judge. there are no guns that hold more than two bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, the answer is simple. The current witness is plainly mistaken. Oh, but, Just your, look witness, at him. but your witness is the old guy, super trustworthy, right, Van Karma? <laughs> <laughs> Just look at him. Suspicious. Look at his ugly face and those creepy eyes and those weird rosy cheeks and that stupid fuckboy haircut. <laughs> what? My hair? <laughs> it is a pretty mm. fuckboy haircut. It is a fuckboy haircut. Well, Mr. Wright... What do you think about Mr. Butts' claim he heard the gunshot before midnight? Uh, Larry's right, y'all, because we got a gun missing three bullets. Larry's not mistaken, Your Honor. He heard that gunshot before midnight. Intriguing. I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. Is this the time? Show me evidence there was a gunshot before midnight. It's the time? Come on. Come on. This, right? We've tried this twice already. This is yes! my evidence. <laughs> we did it. The we murder used, weapon? We, we finally used the third bullet. I, I've never seen this piece of evidence. This is the first time it's ever been presented to me. Something about this pistol was bothering me, Your Honor. Both of <laughs> Phoenix. For a really long time. <laughs> Both of the witnesses who, heard, who testified yesterday heard two gunshots. However, the murder weapon was fired three times. What? It was? When, then, was the last shot fired? Only now have I realized the truth. That third shot was the shot Larry heard just before midnight. Order! Order! I guess that would make sense out of yesterday's testimonies. Bah! You waste your you waste our time again with your empty statements. Yes, the pistol was fired three times. But do you have any proof that it was fired before midnight? The witness. Do you have proof that the witness didn't just think he heard something? You are not allowed to claim my witness is suddenly uncredible when your old drunk man witness gets a pass. Right. Thank you, Von Karma. I'll roundhouse Indeed. kick you. <laughs> <laughs> can I get can I get a fix some fan out of Pridge roundhouse kicking Von Karma? <laughs> uh, I should be able to, to put Pridge's face on Chuck Norris and put uh, Von Karma's face yes. on somebody else. That's actually very good. And just by saying that, I have to put this now in the video. Good job, Zach. Look uh, at it. There it good is. Job. Good Everybody, job, Zach. Isn't it, isn't it such a funny edit that Zach did? Everybody give Zach applause. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright. One more time with sassiness. Well, Mr. Wright. <laughs> There's no turning back now. Do you have any evidence that proves there was a gunshot before midnight? Do you have evidence that proves Mr. Butts wasn't just hearing things? Uh, oh, there's a second. Remember, a lot of said a second photo was taken. Boom. Goddamn. Goddamn. Fuck God, son of a bitch. Do it. Look at this photograph! <laughs> we are we have cursed ourselves in so many ways. Yeah, literally <laughs> ten, fifteen minutes ago, I will we will never make this an emote. We can't possibly. And there we go. The game. Knew. Listen, the game's it sets up the best jokes. Come on. <laughs> Chrono Wizard says every time we do this, it makes us laugh. Which you know what? That's true.
can. That's all. We, that's all we can ask. <laughs> this was taken by our witness yesterday, Miss Lotta Hart, with her automatic camera. The timestamp on the photo reads December twenty fourth, eleven fifty p.m. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I thought the same thing. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he say that? That's so... He's never said anything like that. extremely informal of him. Like, oh, uh, yeah? Huh. <laughs> Weird. Let me see that. Fucking... Rips it. Chrono what Wizard. photo, Mr. Wright? Chrono Wizard says, Penny Nickelback, which is fucking... It's a very good joke. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was her name, wasn't Look it? Look at this photograph. <laughs> Damn it, that's really good. <laughs> but there was nothing on the lake in this picture. Your Honor, the real issue here is not why nothing is shown in this photograph. It is why this photograph exists at all. It's what the hell is on Joey's head. <laughs> what do you mean? Your Honor, this photograph was taken by an automatic camera. That camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. Aha! <laughs> Correct. Like that? There was a loud noise on the lake at 1.50 p.m. 11.50. That's what I, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was like, that's That's early. what I meant, Your Honor. That, that is why this photograph was taken. In other words, there was a gunshot at the time that Larry claims. Someone's still in the gallery going, boo. <laughs> Order. Order. And quit the booing. <laughs> boo, says, judge, judge sucks. <laughs> I heard that. Uh, <laughs> judge swivels his chair so the back is on the front and puts some shades on, takes out an e-cig. <laughs> Go on. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. That would make sense of the evidence we've seen so far. However, this leaves me wondering exactly what did happen that night on the lake. Second shooter on the grassy knoll. Second <laughs> shooter on the grassy knoll. Exactly. If this is true, there were two sets of gunshots separated by 25 minutes. One at 11.50, another at 15 minutes after midnight. Also known as 12.15. <laughs> Why, I ask you? Why? Second shooter on the grass, you know. <laughs> Uh-oh. I better think of something quick. That's Wait cool. a second. Gunshots separated by 25 minutes. <laughs> What's wrong, Nick? I have it! I have it! Huh? Remember the case with the Steel Samurai? Huh? Yeah, of course I remember. The, the murderer in this case had the same idea as the murderer in that case! What do you mean? Someone dressed up in a Steel Samurai costume? <laughs> <laughs> Maya! <laughs> Yes? If we don't figure this out now, we'll never overturn Edgeworth's guilty... Why are you yelling at her for this? Oh, God. I get it. So Salmonella was involved. You oh, know thank what? God. I hope so. <laughs> I've got a hunch, and I'm going to run with it. Right for the border. Right. I mean, is this safe? Safe? We've already gotten a guilty verdict. We've got this nothing to lose. Bias. Right. <laughs> uh... You just watch and let me know if I say anything that sounds fishy, okay? What about a lot of heart? Yeah, I was like, I was like, can we get a lot of heart in here as an expert? Your Honor, the witness is floundering. Nick, that was pretty fishy. <laughs> right, Nick. Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? The testimony just now has cleared up this entire case. Boo! Judge is a loser. Hey, <laughs> shut up. What do you mean, Mr. Wright? <laughs> so you finally realize the truth. So you've been hiding the truth this whole time and you knew about it, Von Karma? 
There can be no other murderer here than Miles Edgeworth himself. Fuck off. Wrong, Von Karma. A man was shot. They might as well night. call you Mr. Von Wrongma. Shit, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Boo. Judge is awesome. Phoenix Wright sucks now. Boo. <laughs> Hashtag Phoenix Wright is over. I'll Phoenix allow is it. Over party. Uh, a man was shot that night, but it wasn't Edgeworth who did the shooting. Listen, rookie. Take a deep breath and consider the facts. Corona Wizard also says, if courtroom nonsense is something you wish, then drop on the deck and flop like a lotta, which fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to do that edit now. <laughs> how? I don't know how you do that edit. <laughs> if courtroom nonsense be something you wish, stop square pants, then flop on the deck and flop like a lotta. <laughs> the chat, the chat was a fan of of your, uh, what's his name, Slappy the pirate. Well, the pirate in the beginning isn't. It, you're thinking of Patchy. Patchy, uh, right? That's but it different... isn't. It isn't Patchy. It's yeah. The I, I be just a painting of a head. <laughs> he never has a name. He's just the painting of a pirate head. Oh, okay. Sounds there we so go. Dead on. <clears throat> also, the chat's laughing at me for thinking the pirate's name was Slappy. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Slappy the Pirate. Arg, walk the plank, I'm baby. Slappy. <laughs> I'm Slappy the Pirate. I suffer from scurvy. <laughs> Oh, just read Von Karma's next uh, line. I suffer from scurvy and syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> just because my name's Patchy the Pirate doesn't mean I don't fuck. <laughs> oh, oh my shit. god. Take a deep breath and consider the facts. At the time of the murder, one boat was on that lake. This was shown by the witness's photograph, because this photograph shows the whole lake. Mm. The defendant, Edgeworth, and the victim, Robert Hammond, were on that boat. There was a gunshot fired on that boat, and Robert Hammond fell into the lake. The distance of the shooting was one meter. It couldn't have been suicide. Well, the guilty party has to be the other man on that boat. I admit it is hard to imagine any other possibility. Yes, but this assumes that the victim was shot at 15 minutes after midnight. What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? We have photographic evidence of the time of the shooting. We have photographic evidence of the time of the shooting. Fuck. The timestamp on the photo says 0015. But Larry heard a gunshot 25 minutes before that. Robert Hammond was killed then, 25 minutes before the shot on the lake. That's the only way that Edgeworth could be innocent. Mr. Wright, are you quite mad? Oh, a little it mad here. Explain who this is sitting on the boat. Uh, uh, Edgeworth and Hammond were on the boat. Okay, great. Miles Edgeworth and Robert Hammond. Yes, I believe you are mad. That is exactly what I've been telling the court this whole time. You're agreeing with me. And yet, what did you just say? that Robert Hammond had been killed 25 minutes before the shot on the boat? Yes, that's what I said. I was just testing you, Von Karma. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your client has already been declared <laughs> guilty once. I'm going to have to penalize you for this oh. foolishness. <sighs> ah, I'll ask you again, because I'm feeling nice. It was Edgeworth and the murderer. 
Of course, it was Edgeworth and the murderer. After the murderer <laughs> killed Robert Hammond at 1150, he assumed the guise of Mr. Hammond and met Edgeworth. Ooh. What? Are you serious? Yes. Edgeworth won't tell me why he went to the lake that night. However, I have a hunch. That night, Robert Hammond called Edgeworth to the lake. Now, Edgeworth didn't know Robert Hammond's face that well. That's why he didn't suspect anything when the, ro when the murderer took Robert Hammond's place. I'm not sure what to make of all this. Ludicrous. Luda. Hit us with that sick beat. <laughs> Mr. Wright, tell us the name of the murderer then. The murderer's name? Right. It's... <laughs> now... Fucking get her. Get her. <laughs> <laughs> it's Miles. Yeah, you guys are right. I've just been stalling. I Miles, gotta, you... I gotta, I gotta check that. Once again, I think he's not. I don't think he's actually gonna say it out loud. But now, please check. Will they? Will they punish us for thought crimes, though? On second thought, that's a really dumb answer. <laughs> I might get a laugh or two out of the crowd, but that's about it. Uh, Nick, something on your mind? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> uh. Mr. Wright, stop laughing and tell us who the murderer is. Oh, fuck is. off, Judge. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> the murderer's name. Right. It's... We don't know yet. Yeah, I mean... Actually, I don't know the murderer's name. You don't know? Uh, Judge, might I remind you, that in fact is not my job. <laughs> bah! Again you waste my time! I don't know, because he never told us. <gasps> the murderer is the caretaker of the boat shop. That old man. At 11.50, he was the one who killed Robert Hammond. The caretaker of the boat shop? Where did he do this? There weren't any boats on the lake then. So we don't... We... <laughs> Why yeah, would thank he... you, Phoenix. Why would he have to go all the way out onto the lake just to shoot someone? May no, I suggest... guns only work on lakes. That's <laughs> obvious, Mr. Wright. May I, I declare Miles Edgeworth guilty. Court is adjourned. <laughs> no! Wait, what? No! <laughs> May I suggest that the real scene of this crime was not in a boat. What? It was in a car, on a float. <laughs> <laughs> becomes a Dr. Seuss right? Is that where you'll eat green eggs and ham, Mr. <laughs> Wright? One bullet, two bullets, three bullets. But wait, <laughs> according to random conservatives, we had to cancel Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well then, where did the murder take place? Chrono Wizard says, right, you bozo. Guns don't work on land, not unless you got turbo, which is a great fucking Back to the Future 2 reference. Thank you for that. Um, the, the boat rental? Yo, yeah, he literally just said it two sentences ago. They shouldn't... Okay. Technically, it could have taken place anywhere. I mean, the guy right. gets knocked by Lada's car because she would have noticed, but... Right. It was actually Lada who killed them. Here, of course, the boat shop where he lives. That way, he can meet with the victim without anyone seeing. Do you have proof that the boat shop was the scene of the crime? Recall Larry's testimony, if you will. <laughs> the boat just like going around randomly. I was gonna say, yeah, it feels, it feels like I'm playing like a old like retro game. Like watching, like, yeah. yeah. Playing Snake on my Nokia brick phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Don't diss Snake on that. That would get an eight out of ten on IGN now. Oh, I, I would, I would get an eight out of ten on fucking Save Data Team. <laughs> that night, he was out on the lake in a boat, searching for something. <laughs> he finds it and returns the boat. Then, just as he's staring to to head home for, uh, 
about to say to head home Starting. for a movie. I don't know why I read that. Ju then, just as he's... Jesus Christ. Then, just as he's starting to head head for home, he hears a gunshot. He he heard a gunshot, Your Honor. Even though he a was gunshot. wearing even though he was wearing headphones at the time. In other words, the gunshot was very, very close by. And where would that be if he had just returned on a boat? The boat shop. <laughs> Boo, caretaker sucks. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what happened that night on Gord Lake? Please tell the court from the beginning. I, yes, Your Honor. Nick, are you sure about this? No, but it's nah, but I've been winging it this far, so why not just <laughs> head for home? <laughs> you know, I mean, what what else do we do here apart from just wildly accusing people on very thin evidence? Um, not really. But I think if I start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. And I take it slow. I might just be able to figure this out. It's time to make a comic book. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that night, the caretaker of the boat shop called Robert Hammond to his shop. <laughs> this face of Robert Hammond. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> this was around 11.50. That was when the gunshot that Larry heard was fired. After that, the caretaker put on Robert Hammond's coat. He became Robert Hammond. You know that jutsu in Naruto where you look like someone else? Yeah, he used that. But he also became sexy Robert Hammond. <laughs> He's from uh, the Hidden Wet Noodle Village. <laughs> the village hit it. The village hit the wet, wet noodle. noodle. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Then, he got in the boat with Edgeworth and went out into the middle of the lake. Then... Then, oh, who fired the pistol on the boat, Mr. Wright? Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> I'm tempted T to, but T-Pain no. and the cast of the Lonely Islands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a boat, motherfucker. <laughs> of course, it was the murderer who shot the pistol. He shot twice. Both missed Edgeworth on purpose. Wait a minute. Yes? What are we doing again? <laughs> I forgot. Why would he shoot twice if he didn't mean to hit anyone? Uh, details, details. Phoenix, it's obvious. Know this, Mr. Wright. The moment you run out of explanation is explanations is the moment you lose. How, like, again, if Dick, Dick's... You still can't explain why there was a gunshot at 1150. I, again, it, it, it's wild to me that Phoenix would be able to get to this point in, like, his theory, but also not know the fucking answer to what he's trying to actually purport. To create a witness? Yeah. He was never... He was Tell never us trying. why the murderer had to fire twice. Because the first shot missed. <laughs> Edgeworth dodged both bullets. <laughs> I believe he shot twice to create a witness, Your Honor. Are, are you saying Edgeworth? Can, are you saying Edgeworth can dodge bullets? I'm saying when the time comes, he won't have to. <laughs> that was really good. He wakes. I know kung fu. <laughs> create a witness. The murderer lifts his pistol and fires one shot. That ensures that anyone who heard the shot would look at the lake. Indeed, Miss Hart did exactly that after hearing the first gunshot. Next, the murderer waits a bit and he fires again. Then, he waits another bit, fires again. Then, the murderer jumps from the boat himself, leaving the pistol in the boat behind him. And Edgeworth, like a baboon, grabs it. <laughs> yeah, realistically, if Edward didn't pick the gun up, how much worse would their case be against him? I see. To someone looking from the edge of the lake, it would appear that one of the men on the boat had shot the other. The murderer didn't uh, know. Your Honor, uh, don't assume gender, uh, because from that vantage point, no one would have been able to tell that they were men, so uh, just check yourself, okay? <laughs> 
The murderer didn't know about the automatic camera, of course. That's why he shot twice to draw attention to the boat. Hmm. Once you realize that, everything else falls into place. The boat shop caretaker swam back to his shop. Then he put Mr. Hammond's wet coat back on the body and threw the body into the lake. This is what happened, Your Honor. These are the events that transpired that night on Gord Lake. <laughs> they have just one guy slow claps. <laughs> Knock the shit out of my microphone. <laughs> Insert the law and order sound effect. I'm going to do that now. Thank you for the idea. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> Bailiff. Arrest Phoenix Wright. Hit, hit, hit that man's pee pee. <laughs> Not the balls because he likes it. Fuck, will that joke be in the actual video? Will it make any sense in the context of this? I don't know. Uh, that's, hey, if it's not, then you're the lucky few that get to hear it. <laughs> Bring out the witness from before. The boat shop caretaker. Quickly! <laughs> Very well. While we are waiting for the caretaker, I would like to ask the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, a few questions. Mr. Edgeworth, please take the stand. Wait, are we actually getting the accused as a, as a witness? I, this never happens. Mr. Edgeworth, could you describe Mr. Wright's face when his back is against the wall? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, would you like to invoke your Fifth Amendment rights against self-incrimination? Because if so, then <laughs> leave the stand. I, I, I can't thank you. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you heard what the defense has said. Yes. Well, what do you think about it? <laughs> Why did you go to the lake that night? Plea buffet. Plea buffet. Plea buffet. <laughs> what Wright has said was mostly correct. Astonishingly so, actually. Yes. Several days ago, I received a letter. The letter was signed Robert Hammond. He asked me to come to the boat shop by the lake at midnight on Christmas Eve. Oh yeah, that's not suspicious. Yeah. yeah no, right. He said he had a, he said he had a present for me. How could I not go? <laughs> he said he had something very important to discuss with me. Something important? Ooh, I love gossip. Tell me. <laughs> Spill the tea, sis. <laughs> I'm Sorry, I can't say what it was. Hmm. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. Your Honor, sir! Bailiff, we are conducting a trial here. I ask that you remain quiet. The witness has disappeared! He isn't at the boat shop either! Close the boat shop? Yeah. What? What should I do? Find him! Quickly! We cannot allow him to get away! Woo, you suck, Bailiff! Mr. Von Karma, your witness has disappeared! A search warrant has already been issued. Hmm. Damn. It goes without saying that I cannot declare a verdict under these circumstances. For a second time. <laughs> I will extend the trial until tomorrow, the final day allowed. I request that the police department utilizes all its forces to find that witness. Chrono Wizard says, is Booing Guy going to be a recurring character? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he is now. He's the heart and soul of this show. Am I understood? One more thing. 
One more thing. <laughs> Good cut. Jackie! <laughs> Jade! It's the dark hand, Jade! Wow, that's oh. a really fucking good Jackie Chan. Holy shit. Well, guy Jackie Chan from Jackie, Jackie Chan Adventures. Chan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle! <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the. Oh, it's. Umo Gwegui Fighty Chow. Umo Gwegui Fighty Chow. Don't remember that shit? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot that's, believe that, you can remember that that quickly. Yeah, you really that was like a fucking steel trap up there. Hey man. Yeah. Jackie Chan Adventures was a fucking great show. The show it was, was a great way it was better a great show. There's no way I would have remembered being. that. Oh yeah. It's amazing. That show could have been like, trash and I would have watched it and it was actually fucking great. Yeah. Uh and the, that and all of those like older kung fu shows really good. I know it was much later, but even fucking like Shaolin Showdown, Shaolin was Showdown. pretty good for a while. Shaolin's a low key banger. Yeah, I came to that show was yeah, like dude. watched a little bit of it. And I was like, this isn't that good. And then I watched more, and I was like, fuck. Because back in the time, you didn't have anything else to do. So if a show was bad, you probably kept watching it. Yeah. What were, what were the Shengong Wu? That's what they were called. Fucking uh, so good. Good lord. Just who is that boat shop caretaker? My dad. <laughs> I think his identity has become very important to this trial. I want him. <laughs> and I want to know who he is. Yeah, what a weird way of wording that. Uh, very well, the court is adjourned. And nobody open, no one disturb me for... 15 minutes. <laughs> Yay, Nick! You did it! Yeah. Well, at least we got out from under that guilty verdict. And what about Larry? That was something else. Even Von Karma didn't know what to do with his testimony. Larry really helped us out. Sure. Once I sifted through his unique testimony... Still, it's not any better or worse than how all the other people you interview. That's true. Still, he did save us. I just wish our cases weren't so down to the wire all the time. But then how would it be exciting for the people at home to watch, Phoenix? Come on, hey, I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel like it's us on trial instead of our clients. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it is us on trial, Maya. <laughs> hey, Edgeworth. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? Did you say something? Don't look so pained. I mean, it looks like you're probably going to get off the hook. It looks like you're probably going to get off the hook. <laughs> you could try to smile a little. Relax. I'm sorry, but I fear it's not over for me yet. What do you mean? Right. There's something that's been troubling me for a long time now. It's okay, and Edgeworth. I... I love you too. <laughs> and oh, is that not it? Shit. I don't know whether or not to tell you. Yes? Edgeworth? No. There's so little time left. Please! I want to tell you to get it off my chest, but... Yes? I can't make up my mind. Oh. What is this about, Edgeworth? It's a nightmare I've had. A uh, sexy nightmare? Or like a... <laughs> Is it is it the one where like I kill you but I'm in lingerie? Is it the gumshoes dressed like Maya? <laughs> is it, is it, a, that is it a, a lot? Is it of Maya monkey? <laughs> if it's Maya monkey, don't worry, I've had that one too. <laughs> We've all had the Maya monkey nightmare. <laughs> a memory of a crime that I committed. You committed a crime crime you committed was it 
Metal being... Gear. <laughs> was it being too sexy? Because I give you 25 to life. A memory of a murder. Oh, what a I'm fucking great. cliffhanger. The I'm cliffhanger. The black. <laughs> Is it a nightmare about you killing a guy on the boat? <laughs> How yes. did you know? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well played, right? <laughs> That's going to do it for another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. Thank you again so much for watching. If you are watching this on our YouTube, know that you can watch it live on our Twitch. That is twitch.tv slash team, and there is a link to that down below. Also, there is a link to our Discord down below where all of the people uh, posting the amazing fan art that you saw throughout this episode, uh, all of their stuff is uploaded there, and they've actually apparently started an animatic Discord to create animatics of what we do because this community is freaking awesome thank you all so much so excited man uh <laughs> but i think that's gonna do it for this week so until next time i plead the fifth